3.5 inch HDMI LCD. Which is showed in this video is designed for Raspberry Pi. The LCD had 480 multiply 320 hardware resolution. And, software is configurable up to 1920 multiply 1080. The panel uses IPS technology, for high quality and perfect displaying from very wide viewing angle. And its display interface is standard HDMI interface. This LCD is compatible and direct connect with any provision of Raspberry Pi, except the Pi 1 Model B or Pi 0, which required an HDMI cable. We provide a touch driver for this screen, with the driver, it can touch on Raspbian and Ubuntu. Note that the driver is unavailable with noobs. So, if you want to touch, Please install the Raspbian and Ubuntu directly. The screen can also work as a computer monitor with HDMI connection and power supply. To work with the Raspberry Pi, you need to install an image and configure for displaying firstly. Here we use the Raspbian as example. Use Win32 tool to write the image to SD card. You can download the image from the website of Raspberry Pi. We use the newest Raspbian here. Make sure the device you choose is the SD card. Click right to install the image. Waiting for writing successfully. Open the config file which is under the boot. We need to append some statements to set the resolution. You can type them manually or copy it from the wiki page. Save and exit. For further using, we download the driver by the way. On the wiki page, we find the driver and download it. I have downloaded it before, so I cancel here. Copy the compressed file to the boot. Then, connecting the LCD to your Raspberry Pi. Plugging the SD card to the card slot. And insert the LCD to the GPIO of Raspberry Pi. Insert the HDMI connector. And plug the power cable to Pi and the USB cable for keyboard. Power up the Raspberry Pi. You can see that after booting, the screen shows the desktop of Raspbian.
Open the terminal, decompress the driver file which we copied to the boot before. Note that, network connection is necessary while you install the driver. Please connect a net cable or the Wi-Fi before. Use tar command to unzip the file. Then enter the folder. Execute the command dot slash LCD three five dash HDMI dash four hundred eighty multiply three hundred twenty dash show or dot slash LCD three five dash HDMI dash eight hundred multiply four hundred eighty dash show to install the driver. Waiting until the driver installed successfully and reboot. There are five buttons on the back side of LCD. Power, menu, up or left, down or right, and the button return. With the LCD working, you can press the power button to turn on and off the backlight. Pressing the button menu to enter the function list, then use the up and download button to choose the option, press menu key again to confirm the choice. Using return button to exit. For more information, you can visit the wiki page. That is all. Thanks for watching.